Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mora, and welcome to part 11 of my walkthrough of Math Detective. I have restored 10 landmarks. I have two more to go. So I'm going to begin this video by transporting to the villain hideout. Back to Aelion's Beans place for the first, for the last time. Oh, found the clue already without needing to get the mouse very far. Oh, now decimals. Well, that's really no different either than the others I've been doing recently is what I'm talking about. Galaxy. Not too many words have X's in them, so it was easy to figure out. It must be the Hubble telescope then. I mean, that's must be what the landmark is. And of course, I can't help but feel such a landmark is so right to get, even if it's not here at his place, because. Well, we're in a Leon, a Leon being's place right here in the galaxy. That's pretty easy. 25. Yeah, it's, it's the Hubble telescope. And I'm gonna have to go now. Oh, CD-ROM's place. Looks like... Oh. Guess I'll be getting the, the landmark from his place. Let's see. Yep. Uh, that must be him in that picture, but it's so hard to see it. Oh, 
My bad, I was looking at the wrong numbers. Yeah, it's no doubt mine now. It's it's the Hubble telescope. Okay. Let's see what's the, okay. Maybe, yes they are. All right, we got a rectangle and a triangle. All right, Nine, you've eluded me so far. I'm impressed. You know, you could have been a great thief, but I must say, I'm enjoying our little game. That's all it is to you, isn't it? A game. All right. So let's go to Velma and Ventress's cave for the final time. First clue.
going to go back to CD-ROM's house yet because I don't have all the clues, so I'll go to the shop. Whoa. A giant mouse can't be good, especially if it's a pet of, in the home of a vile villain. <laughs> getting onto the geometry with other shapes. That is the radius. Yep, the half of the diameter. If it was a diameter, it would extend out to here. So, ten, eight. It's eight points. How long is this radius? It'll be four points. BC, yep, that's the diameter. The radius is AC. If it was option here, it would also be AB. The diameter, yep. Uh, 12 points. <laughs> Is that his hand, I'm assuming? Whoa. And these rabbits look mean. All right, here we are back at CD Ron's place. It's got the crystal capsule. And yep, here it is, the Hubble telescope. Oh, now the computers are lighting up with those eyes. Here's CD Ron, and oh my word. He's not only ugly, he's a complete slob. He's, I meant to say he's completely ugly, too. You see those misaligned teeth and all that pizza cheese sticking to his back. It looks like a disgusting slob. All right, let's put the telescope back. Back into orbit. Thanks to you, the Hubble's back in orbit. Well done, Nine. We're, We're in, in the, the whole stretch, stretch now. now. Unfortunately, so is Carmen. Nope. We can't waste any time. Nope, okay, that's what I meant to say. we got one more landmark to find. Good luck. You were saying that I meant to say was nope, can't waste any time. All right, so 
11 down, one, landmarks down, one more to go. So here it ends, part 11 of my walkthrough of Math Detective. And the last video will also, part 12 will also be the very end because after putting back the last landmark, the final puzzle with the uh, involving the uh, quantum crystallizer here, let me show you how far we are now. Got almost all the crystals needed. That will have to immediately point after the last landmark back. I have to work quickly, then work on this puzzle. So that's going to be included in the last in after in the same video as the last case. So this uh, brings an end to part eleven of my walkthrough, and the next part will be the very last part of this whole game. So. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed playing it, and I'll see you in the final part of Math Detective.